Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand unicast, broadcast and multicast in computer networks. So, uh, the concepts related to a classful address has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we will try to understand what is meant by unicast cast broadcast and multicast multicast so what is meant by casting transmitting the data in the form of packets over the internet is what we call it as casting in computer networks we call casting as transmitting the data in the form of packets so that diff, that way of transmitting the data in the form of uh, packets over the internet is what we call it as casting so there are three different types of casting in computer networks one is unicast other one is broadcast within the broadcast we have two types uh, those two types are limited Limited broadcast address and the other, the other type is directed broadcast. And the third type of casting is multicast. So let's try to understand this concept by using a, a, a sample network. So we have taken a sample network. Uh, in this sample network, so uh, we have taken these two networks. Uh, th these two are uh, different networks and they are interconnecting through this router. And A and B are the systems uh, within these two networks. And this is the network address of the of this network and this is the network uh, uh, address of this network. So what this network address see here? 24 dot. So what kind of class it is? The first octet is 24 means it is it is class A address and here we are having 194. So whatever the number may be after that. So 194 means 194 means it is class A address. 194.2.8.0 is a class C address. So the classful addressing mechanism has discussed was, was discussed in our previous video. So uh, here we are taking this uh, all the network ID, the ID of this entire network, the ID of this ne network ID part is different from network ID. Try to differentiate that. So network ID part is this one for class A and network ID part is this one for class C. So this is the range of uh, prefix for class C, right? So the first address that is possible is uh, uh, network part 0, 0, 0. So this, this value is given for the ID of this entire network. So we have discussed that, for example, if we have, so for class A, how many, how many IP addresses are possible? 2 power 24 are possible. 2 power 24 IP addresses are possible. But only 2 power 24 minus 2 hosts are possible for this network. So why this? This is 2 power 24 is the number of IP addresses. See here, once again I am discussing that. 2 power 24 is number of IP addresses. Number of IP addresses possible, IP is possible. But 2 power 24 minus 2 is number of hosts possible. Number of hosts that can be configured into this network is 2 power 24 minus 2. Because one of the IP address is used for this network ID. So for this entire network, uh, the ID that is provided is this one. So one of these, so among these 2 power 24 IP addresses, the first possible IP address is for this network, for this network number 24. Uh, class A address it is 24.0.0.0 so this is used as the network ID for this entire network so that is the reason why one of the host so 24 2 power 24 minus 1 one of this IP address is used as the network ID okay so uh, what is meant by unicast now now coming back to the unicast uh, broadcast and multicast concepts what is meant by unicast is if a system wants to transfer the data to another system in a network so in another network if two systems if a single system if a system wants to communicate with other 
uh, another system in an another network is what we call it as unicast so for example if you take a wants to transmit data to b so it is what we call it as unicasting and the, the next concept is broadcasting so the name itself states that broadcasting uh, transmitting the data to all the systems in the network so again we are having two types of broadcasting one is limited broadcasting the other one is directed broadcasting so what is this limited broadcasting for example a, a, a system in a network wants to communicate what to wants to send the message to all the systems within the network within the network for example a wants to send the message to all the systems if that is the case then then this is what we call it as limited broadcasting in in such cases how the message will get transmitted so you may get doubt how that message will get transmitted for example if you get if you take the message if you take the message uh, to this message the source address will be attached for example assume that this is uh, 24.3.6.8 so some number so 24.3.6.8 is the source address and the destination address to which system it has to transmit it has to transmit to, to all the systems in the network how that is possible how that is possible is it is a standard the destination system is to 255.255.255.255 so this is the standard this is the standard ip address that is taken from that is taken from reserved addresses so uh, try to get that point reserved addresses 255 will come under reserved addressing mechanism we have seen that concept okay so now 255.255.255.255 is a reserved IP address for broadcasting, limited broadcasting. Within the network, if you want to send the message to all the systems, then this is the IP address that is used. In the destination, if you give this, the message will be transferred to all the systems within the network. The opposite of it is directed broadcasting. So what this directed broadcasting is, if you want to send the message from this network, to uh, another network to all the systems in that network so the concept is if you if you want to broadcast the message in another network then it is what we call it as directed broadcasting so if you want to send the message to all the systems in this network from this network if a wants to transmit a message to all the systems in that network then it is what we call it as directed broadcasting so what that uh, what is the address that is provided uh, in the directed broadcasting how the address will be okay so the directed broadcast address is so the source address is this is the address and the directed broadcasting uh, destination okay the destination address is 194.2.8.255 so this 255 states that this 255 states that this is the address of directed broadcasting so to whom this uh, address belongs to this ip address belongs to which network this ip address belongs to this network but this uh, this ip address is not an address of the system or not an address of the system in the network try to get that point similarly this network will also and uh, will also has an uh, frick, uh, uh, fixed uh, broadcasting ip address directed broadcasting for example if b wants to transmit to all the systems in this network so what can be the uh, directed broadcasting address it is 24.255.255 .255 dot 255 so this ip address is part of this network but this ip address cannot be assigned to any host try to get that point this ip address is not possible for you to assign to any of the host so this one has to be reserved and this one has to be reserved for network id this one is for network id and this one is for directed broadcasting address which means that this ip address is used for is used for any other system to transmit 
to this network any other system in a network to transmit uh, uh, to all these systems in this network so then this directed broadcasting address is used so that is the reason why the number of hosts that are possible the number of that hosts that are possible to configure to a network is 2 power 24 for example if it is a class a address means it is 2 power 24 minus 3 minus 2 if it is class c address so this is a class c network right if this if this is class c network it is 2 power 8 minus 2 as this part is capable of host addresses we are having 8 bits for this so it is 2 power 8 minus 2 so one of the address is network id network id and the network uh, the other address that is used this minus 2 stands for direct broadcast address so for this network the direct broadcast address is this one and for this network the direct broadcast address is this one so this is how this is how uh, the broadcasting is uh, uh, taken between the networks okay so the next one is multicast so what this multicast addressing is multicasting means sending the data from one one system to multiple systems so uh, n number of systems so for that the multicast class d addressing uh, the entire class d addressing is assigned for multicast addresses a group of systems will be provided with an ip address multicast address using that multicast address uh, they they all will get address so within this address uh, a group of system will be assigned so if you give that multicast address uh, the data will be transmitted only to those group of systems that are there in that multicast addressing so this is how the multicast addressing will work so we, we will not discuss discuss more about multicasting in our course so uh, this is all about unicast broadcast and multicast in computer networks hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching